cuts to the NYPD are in the $88 billion fiscal budget passed by the city council. But as CBS 2's John Diaz reports, the plan still falls short for some of the protesters who are demanding police reform. Outrage and distress. Feelings these protesters share after the city council officially voted early Wednesday to pass the 2021 budget, cutting close to $1 billion from the NYPD. I think they should have put in the hard work, which is the council should have come up with a different budget. Protesters building a barricade outside City Hall, only to be torn down by police, followed by several arrests. Protesters say the city council only moved budget lines to different agencies, claiming it's creative accounting, not real cuts. They didn't do what the people needed. More than $400 million will be cut from the NYPD's budget, with that money earmarked for summer youth programs, education, and family and social services. And more than $500 million in capital will be shifted from the NYPD to go to youth recreation centers and expanding broadband in NYCHA houses. The NYPD's July class with over 1,100 recruits is canceled. Overtime will be reduced and crossing guards, school safety and homeless outreach are shifted out of the NYPD to other agencies. Mayor Bill de Blasio defending the budget. We found a way to keep our patrol strength consistent and keep people safe while saving a lot of money and reducing overtime costs. As public advocate Jumani Williams says he can block tax collections to fund the budget. He doesn't support the budget since it doesn't include NYPD hiring freezes. They're saying that we can't hire new teachers. We can't hire new uh, guidance counselors, new social work. We can't do anything in this city except add on 1,000 police officers. That is the wrong message that we are sending. And while some protesters say that many people plan on occupying this space outside of City Hall to continue the momentum, other protesters say they plan on fighting for police reform in different ways. Protesters are not, they have not gotten what they want yet, and um, they're going to continue to fight until they do. Many already planning another protest for tomorrow. In Lower Manhattan, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.